Good morning, boys and girls. It's me and my buddy Brandon and our dude for the day. This is my buddy Sean. Sean's yeah. gonna take us out on a little uh, lobster shade mission with his pops. They've got um, about 30 shades that need to be checked today. Uh, a lobster shade is like a sheet of corrugated roofing, almost like this piece of roofing right here, laying flat on the bottom of the ocean. And on each side, there'll be like a two by four or a, a like a little wooden slab that kind of raises it up just about a foot off of the bottom of the water. And then the lobsters stack up underneath it. You can imagine it makes like a perfect little cave, just a piece of roof sitting on the bottom of the ocean. I'll actually show you guys what a shade really looks like here in a minute. There's one in the boat. you guys this is a lobster shade so what you can see here is that it's basically a sheet of roofing on these wooden posts and that's going to create this this little cave that was just sitting on the bottom of the ocean the lobsters kind of stack up underneath and make their home and while the lobsters kind of feel like we're raiding right their home to be real it's almost like a, um, a wild farming because there'll be tons of little babies in there and they'll just move back in and slowly grow large when you lift it up you pick the big ones out of it and then you let the little ones go back in and you know next season or later on those little ones will be big and you just continue your race basically creating perfect lobster habitat for them to breed in and then you get to harvest out of it so it's pretty cool sean put us on the boat today it's just sean's dad i want to i want to make sure i pronounce it right though malolo yeah yeah sean's dad malolo big thanks to these guys for showing us a real belizean experience i think it's going to be an awesome day don't go nowhere let's get into some lobster shading Seagrass. Yep, and then see right in there. Well, it looks like it's in the middle of all the seagrass. Kind of looks like white sand, but it's perfectly square. Just right in here. That's actually a lobster shade. We're gonna go see what's in it.
there were some there were some ones that looked bigger down there, but they were small. Yeah. See the cap is has to be two inches in length and the shell has to be four ounces. First stop guys, two lobsters in the basket. There was a bunch of lobsters down underneath that shade. That was super cool. That kind of shows exactly what I was talking about as to where the lobsters are living in there because it's perfect habitat for them. And then these guys just come along and pull a couple of the larger ones. And then the smaller ones you get to grow up again. So it's really almost like, like a pseudo farming. It's like a wild farming uh, practice. It's really cool.
other side and you'd be on one side digging, I'd see it pop out the other side, you know? Just like, There's really three ways that you get yourself lobsters. You can either pull them from shades, pull them from traps, or you can pull them right out of the karama like this. And Sean's gonna go see if there's any lobsters under the rocks in here right now. really really bad for the local species they eat pretty much everything and the lionfish are quelled whenever possible we don't want to kill them entirely off we don't want them to go extinct but we definitely want them out of central america america this side of the world in general so uh send them back to wherever it is they come from fiji the philippines australia somewhere over there we don't need lionfish in our in our oceans
little guy. He's going back in the water, but I thought I'd show him off a little bit because they're kind of cool. Check out the underside. These are, these are big Caribbean crayfish. We call them lobster because they're actually a little bit different. They're not like the kind of lobster, cold water lobsters you can find like up in Maine or something like that. These are big, warm water Caribbean crayfish. You can find them in the Pacific, in the Caribbean, some parts of the Atlantic. But warm water reef, big old sea bugs. So this guy's going back in. We've got a big basket of larger ones right over there bring some lobster home with us tonight and do a little uh, grill up maybe a little saute up something like that but I just had a really nice day I'm glad I got to go out and see the way the Belizeans really do it and uh, these guys are badass Sean's back there chopping up lobsters and cleaning them for us right now so they'll be ready to go Big badass lobsters. Well, you guys, that's gonna wrap up the actual adventure part of our day. We're gonna go throw these lobsters on the grill, but I wanna give a big shout out to Mr. Manolo for taking us out. And a big shout out to Sean. When he gets a free hand, there's a dap for cracking up all these lobsters for us right here. And uh, what a badass, awesome adventure of a day. Hope you guys had a good time. Go ahead and uh, hit like and subscribe and all that stuff right now. And then you won't miss any more fun action from us on the channel. And stay tuned for the cook up session of these lobsters right here. Guys, welcome back to the crib. We had an awesome day out there pulling lobsters and having fun. We're gonna make dinner real quick, and we're just starting up the rice. But so really though, white rice, coconut white rice, you guys don't really care so much to see that. Dinner tonight is gonna be these six beautiful lobsters right here. We'll probably uh, grill up like two each, and got a couple of little pork chops to make it a surf and turf. And let's get to throwing some of these bad boys on the grill. Thanks for watching the bite. being silly with that little spoonful. That's the kind of butter we want. <laughs> yeah, butter. gonna let these set for probably about I say like 15 maybe 25 minutes tops and then I'm probably gonna flip them over so the back part of it can have like a little grilled flavor on it and you know when these are done it's gonna be very very bomb man very very bomb fresh lobsters me and Asher went out today we went out with my boy Sean his pops the guy to go to very experienced guy he know these waters went to the hunt for lobsters we got us some lobsters man it was a great adventurous day. Me and Asher had a great day. All right.
Alright guys, I just, I just, guys, just wanted to show you guys how this meat cook a little bit. Look at that. Just look at that. Just imagine that. It's not even fully cooked guys. You see that meat? It's looking very nice, tender, and juicy. We're going to know when this lobster is cooked. You're going to see this lobster turn a little more redder. And that's when you're going to determine when the lobster is fully cooked. Well, you guys, I'm pretty fired up about these lobsters. Like Brandon was saying, our boy Sean and his dad took us out today, and they really are the guys to go explore these waters with. A whole big section of the back of the island here is their fishing grounds, and they've got a lot of traps and flats and um, little ramas and shoals, and they just really know the area well. We've been pretty blessed on this trip to be able to get on boats with some badass captains and some badass fishermen. And um, so big shout out and thanks and props to those guys for putting us on today. And Brandon right here, Brandon has been grilling lobster and seafood um, his entire life. So when it comes to dry frying fish, grilling lobster, or boiling them up a sere, these guys, uh, they're all pretty pro um, when it comes to cooking this kind of food. Being a chef and being someone who like really appreciates food cooked properly, I haven't seen a whole lot of food out here not cooked properly. So stoked to have Brandon mastering the grill right now, throwing down on some lobsters, and um, it's gonna be a good evening. So can't wait to get into some of this food right now. I'm super stoked on this lobster dinner. What a fun catch and cook. Going out with those guys and hitting their lobster shades and pulling lobster shades all day, like the way the Belizean fishermen here do it, it was a real cool experience to, uh, to get to go out and see and share. And I'm really looking forward to eating these lobsters. Um, doesn't get any fresher than this. A few hours ago, these lobsters were out in the ocean underneath shades. And I'm guaranteed- Actually said he's looking forward, so oh, yeah. let him, let him. Look at that right there. Oh my God, that's, that's so fire. What a fun way to spend the day um, catching a bunch of lobsters. Guaranteed some of these lobsters that we're grilling up right now, me and Brandon hooked today because these are the smaller of the big keepers that we got. And um, those guys are real badass. They go down, they slide up underneath the shade, they see the big ones and they zero in on them and hook them right away. And some other decent sized bigger uh, lobsters scatter out underneath onto the flats and onto the grass. And that's where me and Brandon come into play. We dove down and hooked those ones that were still decent sized lobsters, but were scooting away. Looking forward to eating a lobster that I probably caught or Brandon caught, you know? Maybe he'll eat the one I caught, I'll eat the one he caught. Either way, we caught lobster today and we're grilling them up, catch and cook fresh Caribbean crayfish lobsters. You are watching the bite. Brandon, what is it? What's it all in that mix? Uh, we got some salt, butter, uh, green onions, and then some garlic too as well. We already know we have to have the garlic butter flavor to it. Pork chops on the grill also. Make it a surf and turf, right? Why not? Good job. 
Spencer, let's go set this platter up real quick. guys here's our feast from the day we got six grilled up lobsters right here that's quite a feast of, of lobster eating just a little quick salad coconut white rice and then a couple of pork chops just to make it a surf and turf and round it out so because why not right but we're gonna get down super super badass super super bomb I hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure I had a blast I know Brandon had a good time you guys are watching the bike have a good night Half a lobster tail and one bite.